Hello, and welcome to another episode of Goodcast, a podcast produced by Goodwill North Central Texas. It's a show where we take a closer look at the story behind the store and highlight successes made possible thanks to the generous donations of everyday people. Today is National Thrift Shop Day. Did you know that the second week in August is National Bargain Hunting Week? It's only natural then that thrift shops be highlighted as part of this recognition. After all, according to the Association of Resale Professionals, there are currently more than 25,000 resale, consignment, and not-for-profit resale shops in the U.S. It's the first thing people think of when you mention Goodwill, and it's a retail model that allows us to change thousands of lives through job training, placement, and mission services. So what is it that draws people to our stores? Why do we love thrifting? Today, we're going to attempt to find out by hitting the streets and hearing from people who understand the secrets of secondhand shopping. The first step on our journey is the GW Boutique in Keller, which opened in 2010 and was the fourth of its kind in the country. The boutique opened with a fashion show and today houses high-end and name-brand items at affordable prices. We even have an authentication process for our handbags. Hi, my name is Dina. The reason I love thrifting is I love giving um, items a chance to get loved again and finding a unique item that is a bargain. And I got it from my mom. She was an amazing thrifter. Hi, my name's Phil. I love thrifting because I find the quality of the manufacture of the clothes is better because they're older, they're better made. They seem to fit me better. And it's a family thing. My mother was brought up in the Second World War and they always remade things, mended things. I just think it's a great way to go. And you're saving resources because you're not buying new. So yeah, brilliant. How often do you visit this store? I'd love to come every week, but probably about once a month. (laughs) Our next stop is Alta Mesa which is frequented by its share of regulars and volunteers and is essentially our flagship store. You can usually find a pretty large furniture section, lots of new goods, and a ton of kids' clothes. Hi, my name is Brenda Sanders. I shop at Goodwill. I love Goodwill. They have good deals and I collect glass blocks and I can find them here at a good price. I have over 300 in my house. So if you're looking for anything, Come to Goodwill first. You get a good deal and a good bargain, okay? <laughs> I, I really enjoy problem solving and growing up from um, a low-income family, I um, found multiple ways to, um, you know, try to make old things new and try to um, make do with what I have. And from there, I developed my um, great passion for fashion, I guess, so yeah. Yeah, I thrift shop a lot. Most of my, pretty much almost everything I'm wearing is thrift shop. Um, I just like being able to find different things that I don't usually see in stores. And I know like it's one of a kind. And I like the fact of like recycling and reusing things that would often be thrown away. And of course, our customers aren't the only ones who enjoy being part of the thrifting experience. Hi there, my name's Diane Gorman and I am the store manager of Store 61 Collins. And I have been with Goodwill for almost three years now. Honestly, I love everything about my job, but I think what I love most is the customers and my employees and having a fun place to go every day. It's not just a job, it's a career with benefits. For anybody out there who's trying to figure out what to do, uh, you know, in the next stage of their life, um, I would highly recommend Goodwill. It's a place of healing. It's a place of uh, camaraderie Um, and you you have a purpose. I'm happy, I am productive, and I'm feeling great. And I consider myself a Goodwill success story. And if they let me, I think I might be here a really long time. Hello, my name is Blanca and I love Goodwill because I have a great boss. She's very patient and she knows exactly how to treat her employees. That's one of the best things about Goodwill. All of my uh, coworkers are also very supportive. And that's one thing that I see that Goodwill, they treat each other like family. 
One of the first interviews we hosted on the show featured musician, fashionista, and super parent Tony Estes, who talked about the creative side to thrifting and what she loves about the experience. I'd recommend checking out that episode if you haven't heard it yet. I think it was published before we were even on Spotify, but here's a brief clip from it. I found some really good stuff mm -hmm. at the Goodwill, and, and, and every time I find one, it's almost an addiction. Mm -hmm. It can be, because you go, oh, I found this. What else is out there that I'm missing? And so you find yourself going every single day, making friends with the people. Hey, so when does the truck come in? You know, like mm -hmm. <laughs> doing all that stuff. So yeah, that's that's one of the things that I love about thrifting, though, is, is recreating something that's already been done. In that same vein, recent Project Goodwill judge and Instagram influencer Doreen Morrow, aka the diva of Curves, Texas, talks about finding DIY materials from Goodwill stores and crafting unique items. I've done a lot of repurposing as far as like furniture, frames. I redid my bed frame one time and just made it really like more personable. So I've done some coloring, some, you know, some spray painting and so forth. But no, I admire people who really have the tenacity to kick those projects off because it is amazing. Mm -hmm. And again, it just speaks to the whole repurposing. Like you literally can make something completely different. I've seen some amazing things transpire off of repurposed and upcycled goods. One of the best ways to get the most out of your dollar is by shopping at the Goodwill outlet. We've talked about it briefly before, but just as a refresher, here's the rundown. At the outlet, items are sold by the pound, with new items being stocked each hour on rolling tables throughout the store. Many of the people who visit it are small business owners, resellers, or just thrifting enthusiasts. Folks will spend literally the entire day waiting to see what surprises will roll out next. The outlet was opened in 2013 and was meant to bring new life to the store located at Mansfield Highway. What many people don't know, though, is that the outlet was part of an additional initiative for recycling unsold donations. These donations would be broken down into commodities including metals, cardboard, paper, and other recyclable goods that are then resold on the scrap market. As thrifting and upcycling get more popular, stores see more shoppers than ever, and it creates a high demand for donations. Yeah, my name is Gautier. Uh, I've been like, buy the stuff here like for 10 years. But they they have everything that people need here. But it's cheap. They sell for us. But the function, everybody, if you want, buy something, the door is open for everybody. So do you have your own business? Is that what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Some people, some people that have a business with my mind, I got my stuff I sent back back home. I'm from Congo, Central Africa. I sent back in Africa. Okay. Yeah, I pack I sent back home. A lot of people here they send back to Mexico. A lot of people they send here they sell all box or being a, you can just select what you want. Speaking of the outlet, we recently hosted a teacher surplus sale on August 7th where teachers from across the Metroplex were invited to shop for school supplies and crafts for just 49 cents a pound. Together, they purchased 1,866 pounds of materials for the upcoming school year. This might come as a surprise, but we actually look at the Google reviews for all of our locations to help determine what's working for our customers and clients. And when we get especially good reviews from the public, we like to share those results with our team members, who otherwise wouldn't know. Here are some of our most recent ones. H. Hatfield says that our Bedford store is a convenient spot to donate gently used goods. Staff is super nice and fun to chat with. They definitely recommend this location. Barbara M. says that she ran into the Camp Bowie store after seeing it from across the streets. She found it well organized and clean and states that she'll be visiting again. So great job team. Thrifters help make our mission possible. 90 cents from each dollar goes back to our programs, which in turn helps people in the community find the resources they need to become independent. So thank you for shopping. We'll have the opportunity to see those results in action in our next episode, which will cover Lisa Lewis's Thank You Goodwill video. You'll learn a bit about her story, hear what the response has been since it released, and we'll chat with Lisa just to thank her for sharing it. This is also a good opportunity for me to plug our new Thrift Buster series, it's a show that tackles common myths and misconceptions about Goodwill and is hosted by the one and only Donna T. Good. You can find that on our YouTube or Facebook page, and we'll be releasing the third episode sometime in September, so you can be on the lookout for that. Thank you once again for listening, and happy National Thrift Shop Day.
You have been listening to Goodcast, a podcast produced by Goodwill North Central Texas. To stay up to date on all things Goodwill NCT, be sure to check out our social media and sign up for our newsletter. And if you have a second, we'd appreciate it if you could share the show with a friend or leave us a review on iTunes. It is the fastest way to help the show grow. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you find podcasts. 